Hey guys, uh, Josh, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate. It is time to go put a sold sign out on Winetta. We brought it back active yesterday and it sold, I think in less than a day. God is good, God is really good. I think it sold in less than a day. I gotta throw away some trash real quick, so hold on. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna go put a sold sign out on Winetta and uh, drop off some earnest money on my wife and I's potential new home. Until we get the inspections done, the appraisal back and all that stuff, I don't, I don't ever consider a deal close to being done yet. But you guys will get to watch me put the sold sign out on Winetta. I haven't even had a chance to put a sign in the ground yet since we brought it back active and it already sold. Uh, working with a great agent so far over at Keller Williams, very detail oriented. Um, got some clarifications on the disclosures for her buyers, great job for her. And then drop it off the earnest money and then drop it off a copy of the contract to Tom over at Gateway Mortgage. He may or may not be in the office. If anything, we'll give it to Georgia or Brooks. Brooke, but uh, one way or another, you guys will see a little bit today. Yesterday, who? Who here on this channel is in Oklahoma? Wow. Yesterday, nuts. Completely nuts. Like my family and I, I was I was able to get maybe one eighth of my workload done that I typically do during the day because tornadoes, craziness all day. Like at 11 o'clock, the tornado sirens went off here in my current town. And I was like, babe, let's go. Let's just go drive around because we hadn't prepped the tornado shelter yet this year. If you've got a tornado shelter and it's one of them big outside ones, go prep it. Oh my gosh, I felt like such a horrible parent um, not having that thing prepped. So uh, prep that after the first bout of storms went through. Spent about two hours prepping it. It's not even done, but it, it, it was it was it would suffice right now like I need to prep it some more over the weekend um, and I'll be doing that and I'll, I'll try to record some of that too so you guys can see me messing around in the storm shelter um, but wow those storms were crazy yesterday so yeah that's about it I hope I have my phone no no way did I leave my phone ah there it is it almost fell out of my pocket that's why I didn't have it if you guys don't have these uh, don't have a jello app in your car for charging your phones I would recommend one I mean I know I know you can plug it into the USB you can plug it into the 5 volt DC or whatever stuff like that but those don't really charge my phone this little this little amp right here this little jello amp this thing is amazing. It charges my phone just like a wall plug. It is amazing. So, yeah, if you don't have one of those and your phone takes a while to charge on the USB charger or the 5 volt DC plug in, look into those. It's like 20 bucks. It's like 20 bucks. And I used to be an Amazon marketer or something. I don't exactly remember what that name was. But they cut me off the program because I guess no one ever bought anything from the videos that I did. They weren't good enough. So just Google it. Put it in Amazon. Jello 300 watt card volt adapter thingy. Oh wow, one of my signs is still up after all those storms yesterday. That's great. And yeah. Alright guys, well I'll see you when we're putting that salt sign out. See you soon. Alright, so on the way to put the sold sign on the, uh, the Winetta house, one of my customers who, God bless this, was selling his house last week too, shot me a text and wanted a sold sign on his house before the inspections. So we're going to drop the sold sign off on that house, and after I drop the sold sign off on that house, I'm going to double check make sure I have enough sold magnets for the Winetta house. If I don't
don't have soul magnets for the Winnetta house, we'll drop a sign off at the Winnetta house, but I won't be able to put any soul magnets on it because uh, I won't have any magnets with me. They're in the shed in the house. So that's what we're going to do right now. The first house you're going to see is a house on Idez that God blessed us with a contract on last week. So, um, don't be fooled. It's not Winnetta. So, I'll see you guys soon on the Inez house. Alright. Let's get this sold sign out. Right there. of sold magnets in my trunk for the next house too so i'm super excited about that so um so with the plenty of sold magnets for the next one uh we'll be able to put sold magnets out on winetta but there is the sold magnets on inez and that's a beautiful little property right there all right the mill lady's coming up ahead so i'm gonna stop recording get back on the turnpike and head over to Winnetta like originally planned. All right, guys, I'll see you in Winnetta. Guys, I am so sorry. I forgot to record putting the sold sign in on Winnetta and then I needed to get the earnest money deposited real quick for the contract on the Guthrie property. So I dropped that off at First American. I did a Facebook live video on the business page that I'll add to this video. Um, it's kind of a little spoof video. Those who know what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about. Uh, those who don't know what I'm talking about, they'll probably you'll you'll enjoy the video too. You'll you'll enjoy the video either way. Hey guys, it's Josh Barnett. Let me decline this call that's coming in. It's Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden, coming at you again with. You know, I'm always asked, what's the number one thing real estate agents need to close a deal? And I have to say on 99% of all tractions, transactions to get a contract to close, you've got to have lenders. And lenders, guys, Gateway Mortgage, what do you guys think the number one thing is that you need to get these contracts, to, to get your loans done in real estate? Contracts. my goodness if you guys need a loan call Tom and his team here at Gateway Mortgage and we'll be able to help you find a house have a great day but um dropped off this old sign at Winetta grabbed the old sign out of the yard um, and yeah just plugging along God's really blessed us super excited about everything going on super proud of my wife amazing woman amazing woman she's just had a baby not even it hasn't even been four weeks yet and she's already like getting everything down at the house like it's awesome um mad respect for women that have babies wow would not want to have a baby not me i i would not want to physically have a baby wow mad respect there so now i'm gonna go home grab her and the kids we're gonna go grab the old earnest money on the old house you know don't, life's too short to get mad at youtube so um enjoy yourselves i hope you guys are having a super successful day hope you guys are getting all your cold calls in getting all your contracts written and things of that nature and i might film some in stillwater i might not i don't know yet but i will chat with you guys later have a great day. All right, had to come back in real quick. Um, relationships in every business are super important. I've got some commercial real estate buddies uh, and some investor buddies that we we take care of each other. We use each other's strengths. Um, their expert degree and what I what I mean by that is like 
I focus on social media advertising, I focus on marketing, I focus on spreading the word about properties for sale. So I've got investors, I've got commercial real estate agents that utilize that specific niche of what I do with properties for sale to their advantage on their own personal deals. So just got another order from one of my commercial buddies on a new listing. Super stoked to put that together. Gonna do a valuation report on it tonight. Get it over to him and then he'll let me know where he wants me to start it at on the list price and we'll get that rocking and rolling. So just wanted to come back in, tell you relationships are important. Even people in your industry you wanna make relationships with because you're not always both gonna be working in that specific same sphere, in that specific um, market. Like, like I do residential real estate and land. That's what I do. And God's really blessed me to do lots of deals in that specific niche. There's all sorts of different real estate things and the marketing niche of the residential land stuff is what I really excel at because of the blessings God's given me. So just FYI, build relationships even with people in your industry. Don't look at them as competition. Look at them as relationship buildings. Like earlier today, I referred one of my buddies to another brokerage that, that works in his specific niche because I know my brokerage wouldn't really fit that. So, um, so you, you just never know what's gonna come up in your day-to-day -day life. And just stay in touch with everyone, always try to do a good job. And I know that sometimes it's super difficult, especially when you get some crazy stuff that comes across our desk, even from other agents. Just, just remember, the goal is to help the consumer. Don't have an ego. Make sure your paperwork is tight. <coughs> like, get that paperwork so honed in. Read the contracts. Read the addendums. Read what they say. Hone that stuff in so that there's no hiccups at closing. And clarify, clarify, clarify everything. All right, guys. I might see in Stillwater. I might not. But just get your relationships dialed in with everyone in your industry. Josh, better hopes and guard. See you on the next clip. All right. Got the family rounded up, and now we're going to go get the earnest money on the Stillwater house and do a little Walmart picking up. And... Yeah, I'll go check the bag real quick. Check the bag for the baby watermelon. See you guys on the next one.